Three, two, one. Today on the podcast, we got Henry Lynn back, my man. We got Mike, we got Kingston, we got Terrence. Both of these two, these last two, are gonna do their first bodybuilding competition oh, ever. Is second? Is your second? Yeah, it's my second. Oh shit, sure, I fucked yeah, that up. Yeah, yeah. The second, the first, yeah. third, 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 third. Yeah. and this is all of his athletes. So what's up, guys? What are you guys doing tonight? Night cool. before, you know, your your first. Yeah, man. So I'm excited as fuck. Not really nervous. Like, there's no point being nervous, honestly, because you come this far. You, if you're nervous, there's no point. Just enjoy and have fun. So that's my outlook on it. I'm just there to have fun and you know, come back with something. Oh, come back with something first. First come, that's nice. What about you, man? Um, man, I'm just out here, just have fun out. Like, my mate Tim, he's sleeping up, upstairs right now. He, he's like, yo, I'm gonna do a comp. So I was like, yo, I'll just do a comp as well. So, I'll, yeah, that, that's basically the reasoning. I don't know about these other guys, but I'm just interested to hear what, you know, got you into it. Always keen to hear what Mike says. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike check. <laughs> My chin, my chin, let's go, let's First go. First of all, this guy is stoked over the moon. Um, can't keep containers energy, which is kind of what I was like in my first one. I gotta wake up in like five, four and a half hours. Yeah, he has gotta wake up at what, five o'clock. Right before five. Well, what do you do? What, what are you gonna do? What yeah. are you gotta do? So, Tell my man people. Henry, my coach, has put me on an amazing diet. However, I have to wake up in like four and a half hours. <laughs> plugs, 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 plugs. Again and sleep straight away and wake up again. He can't contain his energy. He's been like that the last what you four what weeks. You, 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 say, you say that, you, you say that because it's his first comp, he can't contain his energy. But I, like, I feel like we've been, you know, we've known each other enough to know that. That's actually just Kingston. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, true. yeah. that's true. <laughs> yeah. I was like that on my first comp. That's kind of where I'm, I'm going. I'm every day. He's like that every day as every well. Day. Yeah. <laughs> Positive vibes early, man. Positive vibes early, that's good, man. Shit, man. What a woman. What do you got to say as their coach? How would um, you prep them? How would I prep them? Oh, yeah, no. So I was uh, I was saying earlier on to Kingston, like, um, just from, from a coaching perspective, Kingston sometimes can, like, lose concentration a little bit just because he's so high energy. <laughs> so, <laughs> which, which is, you know, not a bad thing. So uh, high energy, go to stage high energy. <laughs> Yo, muscle of course, like, everything's high energy, man. Yeah, of course, man. because it just means that on the day, like he's not gonna crash um, in terms of energy wise, right? So when, when you know these guys' energy levels drop down low, like you can see it in Terrence, you can see it in Mike, but with Kingston, man, like even if his energy is low, he's still fucking up. Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> it's insane. Um, but I just reminded him earlier on, saying that he you know, he needs to be in his zone tomorrow, but in the zone means different things for different people. Of course. So, uh, a lot of people backstage would be listening to music, getting real serious, you know, getting that like Mamba mentality, mm-hmm. you know, that Kobe Bryant, like I'm in for the kill, mm-hmm. right? I'm here to win, you know, and just shut off from the world. Some, you know, uh, for, for some people that is uh, visualization for them and it works. But for Kingston, you have to recognize your own athletes strengths and weaknesses and for him, he just needs to socialize. He needs to go out there and just <laughs> make friends and get in everyone's faces because for him, that's in the zone and that's that's how he's going to bring his best package. So pretty much just understand your athletes and try to tell you prep for that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, th- so that's what I recommended to... Um, so these two would probably be like a Kobe Bryant type thing and trying to help themselves up. Do you think or something else? Uh, these guys are slightly, slightly in the middle, I think. Um, just from the start, because I do handpick my athletes, you know, I do make sure that they are on the same wavelength as, you know, like what my brand stands for, mm. which is like at the end of the day, we're all competitors, we're all here to win. But if you can't have fun doing it, you know, if you're like a zombie, if you like when you take the fun out of it, what, what's what's the point of competing? Exactly. Yeah. Dream. So I think <clears throat> these guys, as much as they are a little bit more like, you know, the Kobe Bryant Mamba mentality, shutting everything off, like, I don't, I don't see them as, you know, like real hardcore music on switches off on the road backstage, if, if that answers your question. Right. Okay, before, before you go to sleep, I want to ask everybody this question, how are you going to win tomorrow? 
everything in terms of preparation, mentality for yourself. And when you do it, what does that mean for you? Strong, deep, right? Very, very. <laughs> you looked at me like, that's a pretty, that's a pretty intense Christian only shit. <laughs> So I saw why breaking down the plan is getting me. He, he, he looked at you like, sorry, why I didn't, I didn't hear the question. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's another thing too. Interpreting um, his instructions and making sure I get them right, that'll be key. Um, yeah, plan to start off with meals in the morning. Won't be as early as their meals, but yeah, get my first meal in. We're going to get tanned. We're going to... I'll get my sick meal in. We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go. Yeah, get on pump up, get on stage, and I'll practice my closing pretty much every day leading up to it. And you then know, we're, you're not gonna be there when they practice for posing, right? I'm what, on sorry? The, on the not, day? No, you. You're not having to practice for posing on the day. No. Mm-hmm. Well, so, well mm-hmm. not backstage. I'm, you, I'm you, not allowed. Yeah. I'm not allowed backstage, but beforehand, I'll make sure that everyone's, you know, gone through it at least once more before they hit the stage. So before you got here, uh, that's what we were doing already. I got mm. them up one by one and just kind of made little notes, made sure everyone knew exactly what they were doing. Exactly. Yeah. Give them excuse and everything. Mm. So all, all that perfect practice, practice stuff yeah, we talked exactly. about, right? And I think there's a lot of intangibles that you need to um, teach someone when it comes to posing as well. Um, in terms of like how they're gonna win, I've got something later on I'll come back to. But you know, li- little things like when you first walk out on stage, you know, if the if the judge is over there, you're not, you're supposed to wave and smile, right? Because mm. you know it, it is a show after all. You never wave this with this hand. You always wave with your back hand. You know why? Because as soon as you start waving with this hand, you're gonna turn on the side. And do you look bigger front on or side on? Obviously front on. Front on. Right. So when you when you first step up on stage, you gotta do this Johnny Bravo bullshit, wave with your off hand, with your back hand, so immediately you come out looking like a fucking upside down Dorito. <laughs> so, yeah. all right. so all these finer details we've just been going over the last couple hours, nailing down and getting all my cues ready, so hence why it's midnight now. Yeah, and that's why, that's why these guys are drained. By, by the time, it's, like, it, it's 20 past 12, exactly. fucking late man. So all that perfect practice, has gone into execution and so now we just got to execute it tomorrow and the second part of the question was winning <clears throat> winning and what does it mean to you yeah. going forward and everything um I suppose I'm considering doing another one next week but yeah we'll next week Auckland oh okay uh, we'll see how it goes we might have too much too much to eat um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you will Labrador <laughs> you will you will it goes with Labrador yeah I eat a lot. <laughs> I'm not yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and they don't have as much energy as that guy. But yeah, and then in terms of that energy as well, yeah, the accurate diet has helped me not be a zombie and yeah, execute things a whole lot better through everyday work and social. So that's been great. And then going ahead, moving forward, winning this way, um, winning would mean progressing and maybe doing another one. In saying that, I'm hoping you'll let me get on not a, not a show, because I'm not known just as the fitness guy. Don't want to be known as just that. I do enjoy doing it as a way to learn how to coach people as well, nice. improve my own physical fitness. I haven't played rugby in a while, because and this is a great way to stay in shape. Because Mike is a personal trainer as well. No side hustle, just like you got your photography and everything else you do, your coaching as well. Yeah. So, yeah, watching <coughs> a lot of things, and yeah, just don't want to be known as the one. Just be like one facet or something. Yeah, like that. at this point, so. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, body wins, great way to progress, and hope to do a few more. Yeah, you but we'll see how it goes. You got it, you got it. Loving it. Loving the gym. What about you, Rob? Yo, yeah, well, can you repeat the question? <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the process leading up to, uh, to the comp? You already yeah. said that you're going to have a meal at 5 o'clock this yeah. morning, right? And well, when you do win, what is that for you? Okay. Being your first con is, is gonna is probably gonna be pretty huge if you come in first. Yeah, okay. So in regards to the first question, what the plan is for stage day. So today is technically the tenth of August right now, so today is stage day. Um so I'm gonna go to sleep real soon. I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna execute, hit my breakfast, make sure I get the second meal prepped, 
So when I hit the second tan, after that I can eat the meal. Make sure I got my third meal prep, which is already done. So that's just my protein snack. And then we'll hit the stage, you know, just execute, make sure posing's perfect. Make sure, you know, calm my nerves. Like, in terms of winning, like, the thing is, it's not about winning on stage. It's a mental battle as well. In regards to that, I've already won, bro. If, you're st if I'm here right now and nothing's gone wrong, that's already a win to me. It's all about, like, keep calm, keep your focus. Like, no regrets, bro. I did, I've done everything I could in, like, in this prep. I'm happy with what I have. Like, I've executed to what I think I have, like, been able to execute to. That's already a win in my books. Step on stage, leave it all out there. Win or lose, at the end of the day, that's, that's a win already for me. All right, so do you think it's more about your personal development in this, in this progression throughout this prep versus just winning at the end of the day? 100%. It's like, you know, it would be great to win as well on stage and get first place in the middle. Obviously, that's one of my goals. Mm. I'm not there to come second place. I'm there to come first. But at the end of the day, I know this is a personal journey as well. Every other person there is on the same, same, same wavelength. Everyone wants to win. Everyone's got the same mentality. I want to come first. So it's no different for me. But at the end of the day, it's about like where you are as a person, your journey there. We've all gone through the same thing. We've all done a 12-week, 16-week prep. You know, we've all had to diet and make sacrifices. That, at the end of the day, is something everyone needs to be proud of, regardless of the result. Nice. I like it. Mm. I like it. Well said. Yo, and uh, with that, I'm signing out. Good night, lads. <laughs> Instagram, <laughs> Kingy underscore Saw, Kings and Saw, YouTube, peace plugs, out. Plugs, plugs, <laughs> Link in the description. Right there, right there. See you in the morning. Yo, right. you. That's awesome. Good night, man. See you, bro. You? Okay. Yeah, man. So, the plan is for tomorrow, just... Just executing what Henry says, really, and just following through with, you know, like how my body reacts to to Henry's plans as well, and just kind of tweaking it. And uh, I think that that that's how I'm going to approach the day tomorrow. And in terms of like the second question, like about the winning, uh, I'm I'm on uh, Kingston's wavelength on that one. So it's, for me, it's not really about the winning per se, but like more of like the personal development because like I said before I didn't do this comp because I wanted to win anything like I, I, I'm not like a medals kind of guy but like just doing this comp in yeah, itself has I taught me a lot of things about myself and so that in my books is, is something that I can bring forward to like any aspect in life you know like I think for me like the biggest thing that I've learned on this is kind of like my time management mm. and how I can like even after my comp, like I still use that throughout my life and just doing my business aspect, you know, my, my personal aspect and, and that is How would more you important. think that relates back to business? Well, because it's important to manage your time in a, in a way where you can, you know, have like your own time, you know, to do what you want and also time where you're actually um, promoting yourself so that you can actually, you know, make money and do, do that, right? Because um, obviously, like I, I enjoy like the bodybuilding aspect because I'm always I was always into fitness, you know, like mm. growing up and all that. But then, you know, like <coughs> I'm I'm by trade I'm an electrician when I kind of co-run a business with my dad. Yeah. So that's that's like the main gig for me, and kind of like this this is kind of like a side thing, just you know for fun. Because obviously I gotta like have some fun, but um, like that. It has taught me a lot about myself and how I cope, you know, because this, this is like super stressful on the body. And so like, you know, in terms of like coping with work and then doing this, it's, it's taught me to really like handle myself in a way that like I wouldn't necessarily do it, you know, if I didn't have a competition or like if I didn't have a deadline to do something, you know. And so, yeah, in that way, it's like, yo. By by having these tools, by doing this comp, you've already won. Like you've won, because you you know you've you've developed so much as a person by even just doing it. You know you you didn't. Even, a lot of people develop a exactly, lot physically. Yeah, exactly. Because I like comparing to my old comp. Like I've already done better. You know I look so much better already. Like and that and to me it's like holy shit. Like that's crazy. You know I look so much better. It's like <laughs> and like. And I've also learned like all these things along the way. It's like, whoa. He's, he's learned to take off his shirt in public. Yeah. And you know, <laughs> last, yeah. last week. Yeah. Yeah. Last like, week. All sorts of like things that I wouldn't do as well. And <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's been fun. It's like, a, it's like a fun journey that I wouldn't have done otherwise if I had not done this call. You know what I mean? Awesome. This is it.
Cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll probably call it that, but I'm getting like, yeah, no, fair enough. I do actually have one, one thing to say with, uh, oh, thank you. Um, how we're going to win tomorrow. I think, I think it's definitely with posing, and this is something that I kind of just want to tell everybody, I suppose, because I think it, it gets missed out a lot. Mm. Um, and, and this is how important practicing your posing is. So I was kind of making the comparison that when, okay, so for example, when you go on stage, you've got your mandatory poses, right? But in the middle, you want to do transitions to make things smooth. And so the transition is really for the aesthetic of, of things, but sometimes transitions can kind of expose your weak points because if, you're, if your body is moving around so much, surely there's got to be an angle where it's going to expose a weak point of yours, right? Yeah. So I think a lot of the times when people transition, they don't take into account that they're, ju they're being judged the entire time. People tend to think that if you can hold that one pose, for that one moment, you're safe. No, nah, man, as soon as you go out on stage, you're being judged. So how is, how, how heavy are you, Terrence? Currently, I'm around 66. And what's the, what's the cutoff weight for your category? I think it's around 70 something, 74. Or right, and you're in the same category? Yeah. Um, yeah. Right, okay. So let's say Terrence is 66 kilos, and there's someone who's 70 kilos, and leaner than him. Mm. If so, Terence can still beat him for sure. But Terence needs to make sure that when he goes on stage, he is only at a hundred percent, and that's it. When he does his transitions, he's got to make them quick, because if he's looking ten out of ten at any given time he is on stage, as soon as the person that should be better than him, as soon as he drops down to an eight out of ten, immediately they're going to see that difference between him and the person who is technically bigger and leaner. Yeah. So I, I, I kind of just want to share that tip. Um, cause mm -hmm. that was, that was well, something that I yeah. recent, uh, that, that I just not realized, but that I was just able to verbalize to, to, mm -hmm. to these guys. What's your favorite part of the prep so far? Favorite part has been thinking about food. <laughs> <laughs> Not me too well, bro. Definitely. Um, but, the way he's executed our diets has been a lot better. I've prepped myself the last few shows I have done. Um, and so, yeah, been having someone that's the second pair of eyes on you. Mm. Last year, me and him done the same show together. We drove this show that we're doing tomorrow, me and Henry did together last year. Yeah. And so, at the end of it, he's like, mate, you were so close to winning that. Uh, I was in the situation and those guys I was just there to enjoy the process of it all mm. and but this time he's like let me work with you and get you to do the same show next year and we'll go out get go for the win and so I was like oh, convince me right let's do it and so that just just having them there just made a has made a huge difference we'll fight soon find out tomorrow but yeah it's gonna be exciting and just one point on that is one thing I do want to mention on this show is one thing that yeah can relate to what Terence is saying is the personal development area. It's a lot of my friends that don't like this mm. kind of I probably yeah, stuff. Let's say don't appreciate what about it. Mm. Well yeah they don't understand it. Yeah. Yeah they don't understand it. Or continually ask me why we do this. Mm. Why do we put ourselves through all this? Exactly. Yeah, for, My, for example, our friends I, that live for the weekend. Let's, let's, yeah, I'll, exactly. I'll give you an example, right? So I've known Henry for years. Right. I appreciate for what he does, but yeah. I, I, I will never do it. Yeah, exactly. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, fair but enough. I know I don't ask him why. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Well, which, which most people ask you why because they don't, they don't even appreciate, appreciate the art of mm. bodybuilding. Mm. Like every every right, type right. of sport or thing has a, has an art. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Right. To it. Yeah. No matter mm. if you're playing. You know, for example, like me, it's football mm. or rugby in, yeah. in this country or bodybuilding like you guys. Yeah. There's an art to it that we all see. Right. Exactly. And when people don't understand it, they always ask why. And mm. I think bodybuilding, like I've heard so much about it. And even to the point where they say that bodybuilders, I think they do it for their own 
personal ego. Right, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I've yeah, heard yeah, that, yeah. yeah. It's pretty own personal ego. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I don't think it's really for their own personal ego. It's like how far they can push themselves. Mm-hmm. I, so I, I think you're getting it, like I always tell people, I think you're getting it twisted there. That's right. a whole nother topic we could talk in an hour about as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's <laughs> just that with bodybuilding, you wear on the outside. Mm-hmm. So, you know, uh, for example, like you play football. It's not like you can always have your football skills on display and wow yeah. people. You can't yeah. Whereas yeah. when you've got muscles on your body, that's always on display. Yeah. So people are going to take it, you know, the wrong way. Mm. Yeah. This is almost a way of like bring, bringing you down even though they don't even understand what the hell mm. you guys have gone through. For example, when we did the photo shoot last week and everyone was taking photos, they said, yeah, because these guys earned it. Mm-hmm. You earned the right, right. For, for anyone to look at right, you right. and stop yeah. and take photos. That, that was a right that you guys earned. Mm. Versus, like, you know, for example, some of them, probably clearly some of them would have thought when we took those photo shoots last week, last week it's like, fucking put a shirt back on, what the fuck right. are you guys doing? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Exactly. But at the same time, Definitely. it's that you earned. I think it's just people's own projection projections, you know, onto you because everyone has their own reasons for. Or doing it's alright, like we show. got a recording on the camera too. But like, you know, like you people just project what, you know, what's in their mind of why someone's doing what they're doing, you know. 